Castle Island of Adventure, and today we are going to try to give you guys some insight into how those in, with handicaps or disabilities can, um, what, they, what to expect when you get here, how to deal with it. Obviously, I couldn't show you guys security, and I've elected not to show you the main gate. But uh, from this point forward, as it says, the adventure begins. Okay. All right, here we are, Spider-Man. And if you are in a chair that's electric, like an ECV as they call them, or a regular electric chair, you cannot take that onto the vehicle. And these lines are not designed for certain types of ECVs. So just come to the front of the line and ask one of the hosts or hostesses to uh, for a transfer chair and they'll give you a manual wheelchair. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, the, uh, it looks like my daughter lost her phone on Spider-Man, so she's going to go in and try to take care of that for you. But in the meantime, what I want to do is share with you our experience. Uh, if you have a uh, fast pass or something like that, it's most likely not necessary because a lot of these rides tend to allow you, obviously if you're legitimately a disabled person, to go up through either their exit line to help accommodate with the wheelchair and stuff like that, or they allow you to go through Express, and these guys are absolutely amazing. They have a lot of fun doing their job. However, um, my only real gripe is, is they try to push you a little fast to get on to the ride. But, you know, that's no big deal. That's you know, just water under the bridge. As long as the bridge ain't on fire, I'm good with that. But uh, outside of that, it's always been a very good experience with some of these, uh, some of these rides. Um, that wasn't so in the past. That's the reason why I started this vlog is basically just to help people like myself or other um, special needs type people who have mobility issues to get around these theme parks without worry or lack of understanding which can be very confusing and hard to deal with sometimes and can actually kind of ruin the day. Like one of my biggest issues is, is the, the fact that like when my daughter and I are here by ourselves or if I have my younger daughters with with us here, they can't push me in that wheelchair, so I have to do that. And some days my hands work well, some days my hands don't. Uh, but outside of that, it was uh, they're getting a lot better. I know a lot of people are abusing the old program that doesn't universal for the head of the line type deal. And I'm not really not worried. If they want me to wait in the line, I'll wait in the line. Just if I'm walking that day, I can't stand for very long at all, so, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, I believe we're going to go ahead and head towards, uh, like, the new, uh, Skull Island, which is the shirt, so, outside of that, we're going to explore that. Now, I know they don't have an express pass line or a single rider or a normal rider, so you're going to have to go through the regular queue. Uh, the staff there is usually gathered from other places in the park, so they are experienced. We've already been on a couple times now during the soft opening. Wednesday was the official grand opening, and this is obviously, this is uh, uh, right now we're... Or Saturday, so we're gonna head on over there and I'll talk to you guys then. Bye. Okay, folks, here we go. We're at the Bill Drat Barge, and uh, what you'll want to do here is come up and you'll talk to one of these cast members or like that, dressed just like that gentleman. And what they'll do is they'll actually take you from here or direct you from here down that path down to the exit it'll be just around that blue tarp to your left but always make sure you check here so we're gonna go ahead and go on there I'm pretty sure we're gonna get wet um, 
Not sure why. Maybe there's some water involved. A lot of people today. Alrighty, we'll see you there. Okay, um, just got off the Popeye's Bilge Rat ride, what is it, whatever it's called. And um, the best, my best suggestion to you is go ahead and check in at the main line and they will direct you up here through the exit. Now I'm going to turn the camera so you can see. You'll want to come up through this rotunda right here and then right up, not not there, but see where this young lady's coming out and you'll go straight up those that ramp all the way to the loading platform where you will find a cast member. Or excuse me, this isn't Dennis Disney, but a, a team member that will um, find out how many you have in your party. They'll ask if you can transfer or, or if you need to walk a little little few feet it's not that bad of a walk if you need somebody to hold you or, or help you in that's fine that's what i do that's what this lovely young lady does for me uh, she helps me on pretty much every ride unless she punches me in the face in space mountain long story we'll we'll do a separate vlog on that one um but no all in all you know they're they're really accommodating here They've gotten so much better over the last two years. Just the last two years. It, w it was something really awesome. So, um, be prepared to be wet. Do not take a camera. Do not take your cell phone. Store it on your, your, your personal chair or whatever you have. But do not bring it on this. You're going to get soaked. So, just enjoy it. Be happy. And uh, let's do a quick surprise. You ready? Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, that's one of my daughters. I have five daughters. And uh, yeah, theme parks are interesting, especially come dinner time. Um, but the person that helps make all this possible for me is my wife, who is stuck on Facebook 24 <laughs> 7. Yeah, that's. That's her, but uh, but definitely, it, 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 I got water in my ear. Well, make sure you check in first, and then after that, you'll be just fine. Okay, we'll see you at. Been on the ride before. Uh, we've done three, four different soft openings over the last month now. Uh, of course, Wednesday they just uh, opened it officially, so the full experience should be there. However, we are uh, getting ready to go on right now today, and I'm pretty sure I'll need a transfer chair. Uh, and. Uh, one of the things I want to do here is to explain that there is no fast pass for this ride, okay? None at all. So, there is single rider, if you so choose to do that, and then there's the, uh, the attraction entrance itself. Um, if you have lower back issues or something like this, this ride can shake pretty good. The seats aren't very soft, so um, you might jar your lower back or, or something of that sort. So um, if you are like not a full-time wheelchair, like part-time for parts and stuff, as I am, uh, that is an uh, issue that I know that I have. But, uh, I grin and bear it the best I can for my children. Uh, they mean mean a lot to me, so I want to make sure that uh, I, I'm having a good experience. With them. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that they will have you go up the normal attraction entrance. Um, for those who have like sensitivity to the sun and stuff like that, uh, go ahead and bring your umbrella. Make sure you got your high SPF on, whatever you need to do, because there are parts of this line that are outdoors, and of course the longer the wait, the bigger the line is outside. So. So you do want to ensure that you're prepared for that. <laughs> I like that. That would definitely help keep you cooler. Oh, into the overflow now. This is all the overflow. See, that feels good to go through that. Yeah, you're in the sun a bit, and then there's some shade sporadic throughout. They got misting fans and, and stuff of that sort. So, yeah, that'll help. Unfortunately, a section we did have to take out the audio because we had a group of young ladies and gentlemen that uh, were using a lot of foul language, so we've elected not to share that with you. Um, what I was saying in this clip is the fact that it is dark. It's a little lighter than it was during the soft opening, but please watch your fingers and your toes and all that good stuff when going traversing through this uh, attraction's uh, darker sections. There are some lighting effects that get darker in certain places. If you have not ridden this, you'll, you will certainly understand what I'm getting at when you get to that section. If you have heart conditions or anything of that sort, there is a scare actor in the line. Um, it is only in one section, and he has available, I think, three little areas where he is within that section. So please take uh, precaution and expect the unexpected through this section. Alrighty, we'll see you in the next. Okay, just got off the of Skull Island Rain of Pong, and this is one of the special t shirts here. What makes this one different from all the others is that right there. So, <laughs> we've had this now for about a month. But uh, anyhow, as far as that line is concerned, they do a really good job. Um, everything there is in place. They're, they're getting used to it. And boy, it is brutal hot right now. And being wet makes it not so easy. So, um, we're probably heading over to uh, the Harry Potter ride. But in the meantime, what I want to do is uh, show you the... Uh, I guess it's the pterodon or whatever the one of those called. Um, yeah, the flight of the pterodon or something like the pterodon. But you're thinking of the Harry Potter ride, but, the flight of the hippo. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna explain something to you guys on that. If you're disabled, this one is a very difficult one for you. They will let you go up the exit, however, the exit itself is quite an interesting maze to go through because you have to go through a kid's playground on it. And uh, with the kid's playground, it's, it's quite interesting, you know what I mean? I didn't realize how many people stare at you when you're talking to a camera all the time. It's kind of weird. <laughs> all those guys out there that do this for a living, man, I don't know how you do it, but enjoy it. But uh, Camp Jurassic is where this ride is located, and in order for you to do all this, you have to have a child under or between a certain height for you to ride it as an adult, even though it is kind of an awesome ride. Now, they have changed that over the years, uh, actually kind of recently in the last uh, four months or so, they've changed that. And uh, 
Yeah, this is another thing. People don't pay attention to the people in chair. It's cut right in front of you and everything else. I'm sure you guys, if you've been to anything park, you've seen that. So, we're getting ready to enter Camp Jurassic right now. And I'll go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can see that. And it's the Pater Anodon Flyers. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take you up here and show you the rules for this ride. Now my wife and my youngest child are already on, in the line for this. What do you think? We're going to go up here and check it out. Amazing. Okay. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around and let you read it, okay? Yeah, if she ever moves out of the way, we can actually read the sign. So now that you were able to read that, I hope my shaking wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, it's basically they're saying it's for small children now. It used to be for everybody. So. I mean, it's uh, kind of pain in the butt, you know what I'm saying, so. Yep, so if you're disabled, you won't be able to go up that entrance. You have to go up the, the exit, and that is a maze through caves and stuff like that. Love to take you in, but that's just a big pain in the butt, and it's wet, so some power chairs just sit there and spin in a you know, puddle. So it's not very friendly, but... Uh, Initially, I thought they changed these rules because people were taking photographs of the, the Kong ride and stuff like that. But uh, no, I don't know what their reasoning was for that this guy over here, the person. But whatever. And. Uh, I don't know, it's just a pain in the butt for this one. So my kid is on right now with my wife, but uh, we'll talk to you in a bit, okay? We are at Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. And what we're going to have to do is, we did have to transfer, so we are going to be going over here because the lady at the thing told us to come see her. Now usually they have you go through the express line um, and then to a set of elevators. Depends on how much of the queue they want you to see sometimes. There's two different ways. One, they tell you to go straight to this elevator, go up to the third, down to the second, and so on and so forth. Or up to the second, and then back down to the first, or something of that sort. Or you can go through part of the queue, or you, and then you go around back to the same exact elevator. So, we'll see what happens this time. But either way, you end up on this elevator going up and down. And you have to do the same thing to return. But it's not too bad. I mean, it's just it's a little confusing at this point. So, we'll see you on the other side. Okay. Well, this time it was a fiasco. The, uh, just really felt uncontrolled. The last few times I've been through, it's been very pleasant, very easy, but they are a little busy, I guess, today. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, not the easy saying I really want to do it. But, uh, the, the one thing that uh, I'm going to say is, is that obviously they want you to experience the queue as a whole and to that way you get a fuller ride experience. They have a stationary platform for those who can't transfer onto a moving sidewalk or a moving conveyor belt. 
which goes with the ride. Um, most people can use that, if, even with ambulatory things. But you better, you you are not better. You have to be able to walk, um, you know, x number of feet or whatnot, and transfer from solid ground to a moving platform. Um, there is a a non-moving platform, but you miss a very short part of the ride. Um, which I can't get into that because I've never really been on the other other way. So I don't do the transfer over too well. I get a little too shaky. Um, outside of that, today they were a little confused. I think they were just overwhelmed because they were a little more busy than they usually have been. Which is which is all fine and dandy. And I hope you like the background because I try to get this background in there too. But we'll see you later on. You know.